yeah, I remember one time we got in a fight with another band, like right after the show. No fucking way. Physical? Yeah, yeah physical. And I remember, dude, this is so what was it over? humiliating because I punched someone and like they didn't even flinch. Uh, <laughs> I was like at a bad angle and it's given me like fear of punching ever since. I was like, I can punch hard, right? I can punch, you punch him. Right, like in the face? Like, I, it was like a little jab. In the face? Yeah. And he was just like, are you serious? And I was like, oh, all right. So and, he, and dude, he was three times smaller than me. Oh, no. Which made shit. it worse. Welcome to Wolf Family Therapy. The doctors today are Jamie and Tyler, and the appointment will start briefly. Thank you for patiently waiting. The brothers will see you now. Oh yeah, hello. Uh, no, they don't. They don't talk like. I don't know what they talk like. They, we all speak refinery. We had a refinery <laughs> just next to our house. No way. There was like trees and then a refinery. And Uh-oh. my favorite thing to do was go outside and look for stars. Yeah. And like you can't see a single star. Yeah, of it's course all not. Yeah. Light pollution. Mm-hmm. So I was like, maybe that's a star. And we lived by the airport, like I was just telling you. So it was like, I, I mean, I get confused between stars and airplanes all the time. That's where I'm at now. You thought they were you, shooting. You thought stars. you had so many shooting stars in your yeah. neighborhood. I was like, oh my god, I have so many miracles that are going to happen. By the way, have you seen a real shooting star? I don't yes. think so. Really, not fucking cool at all. Really, they last Super like two seconds, Less and then they and then they're just gone. Oh man, I've yeah. never like related more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs> two seconds and then gone. Wow. Were yeah, you a big suck. like uh like outer space astronaut? Did you want to be like an astronaut or something? For like a minute, and then I saw Armageddon. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh shit. I was young. When oh I saw okay. Armageddon. Oh, you you didn't you didn't like. You weren't like pursuing it actively. You were like a kid. I was like maybe, and then like math came into play, and I was like, oh, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> it's so much math. Yeah. Oh my god. I was like, maybe if the astronauts need a security guard, then I could be there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they like need a comedian. Do the they ISS. need a bouncer yeah. or? Yeah. They have a bouncer on board. But then I watch. I, it was fifth grade. Uh, I have family in Florida, so one summer I went down to like experience oh, work for the first time. Yeah. They had like their own construction company. After one day, they were like, "You're not coming back." Like you're just in the way. No, you got way. fired by your family after oh, one, one day. day? I, and I got to see uh, boobs too. Pretty awesome. On the day. On the you... day. Of, yeah. Cause, what? Wait, yeah, wait, wait. Uh-huh. So, I know. I'm all over the place. The, listen, I had six coffees before I got here. <laughs> so much to go over. But uh, so first day. We have about an hour to tell your yeah. life story. So yeah. we were doing construction at a house. Well, they were doing the construction. I was there. Uh, <laughs> and the house next door, it was it was like you right were on the peeping water. into homes nearby. <laughs> Essentially, the neighbors right next door, yeah. and. Uh, I mean, there wasn't really a fence, and this woman just came out topless and just hang up, like hung out, was on the phone, really, and everything like yeah, wait, th- just tits out, yes, oh. like just a bottom, but tits out, and she was on like a landline, like a like with like one of those long cords. what forty foot cord, did yeah. She, did she know you were there? I don't know. I she had to have right because I'm in a white T-shirt. I'm just as big as I am now in fifth grade, and she, like, and you're just standing there, yeah, and pointing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, after that and day, point. they were just like, "Yeah, you're in the way. You just just here's twenty bucks. You know, make this last." And uh, <laughs> every single day, I would walk about a one mile to this mall near their house, and I'm not even kidding. Every single day, would go watch Armageddon. Every, every day? day? Every day. And I would cry every single time <laughs> that I got to, Gracie, daddy's got to break that promise. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Leave the theater crying every single day. Um, in fifth grade? In fifth grade. And that I'd, sounds traumatic. Dude, I just don't know what those people who that work there thought. Did oh you my God. An 11 year old walking in every single day, then leaving with tears streaming right. down his it's face. It's like not seeing the different movie each time, not being moved <laughs> by cinema, just the same thing getting me over and over again. How long were you there for? A week? Uh, I was there for a little over a month, I think. Oh yeah. wow. my yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. So I, I mean, I really boosted Jerry Bruckheimer's <laughs> numbers that month. <laughs> I'm proud of it. All right. He's like, we got a really huge Florida demographic <laughs> yeah. at one theater. Check out St. Petersburg, <laughs> 1 p.m. Matinee. Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell? Yeah. Did you go down there with like? Was it your parents sending you to be with your family? Like, you need to learn how to work, or was it just like a? Yeah, I I think I wanted to buy too many wrestling figures back in the day. And you and, needed a job. Yeah, they're like, you. We're not buying it for you, so you just got to go earn money. Wait, what do you mean wrestling? What does like, that mean? Like, like a, a figurine, the little toy. Oh yeah, 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 okay, okay, like a collectible. Man. Yeah, yeah. And, and when did you start? Is that no, your first job or? That, no, I was a busboy since okay. I was. Oh. Well, I guess technically. 
Yeah, maybe. Uh, around the same time. I was a busboy from fifth grade to eighth grade or ninth grade, making $5 an hour. What? Yeah, Brutal. this was very $5 illegal, $5 right? an hour? Oh, yeah. It was under this the table. This was pre... Yeah, okay, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. It was under that, the table. That makes sense. But like then I didn't know I could get my working papers until like much later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wild. Five bucks an hour, no yeah. tips? Uh, they would give me like a piece of their tips, but we Not, were in a poor yeah. town, so people weren't really tipping. Right. Ugh. You know what I mean? So like... Maybe I got twenty bucks mm-hmm. for like the whole day, which I don't. That's not good, right? When were you doing this? A whole day of work? No. Yeah, yeah, a whole day. Of work. This, this, was what, like, boy. this wasn't late like 90s. the fifties. No, mean, this was this was uh two thousands, <laughs> right? Probably yeah, late yeah, probably late nineties, probably yeah, early two thousands. So like, twenty bucks is still nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. not good. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I, knew- <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I asked for a raise, and he laughed at me. <laughs> And then he was like, all right, really? I'll do 525. Because my friend started like uh-huh. a year after me, yeah. and he started cooking French toast immediately. And I was just still washing dishes, which I get. I mean, I'll lick those things clean. You know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he started him at 550. Uh, okay. And I was like, we got a problem here. Yeah, what you're the still, hell? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's like, nah, man, you're fine. Five's good for you. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, all right. God. Did he raise it to 525? 525. That's eventually. a big victory. And that, wait, so yeah. did. You worked this job until you graduated from high school? Uh, no, till no. I guess till I graduated mid. Like once I started high school, then I was like, you know what, I'm out. You were doing that way before high wow. school. Wow, yeah, Jesus. you yeah. really yeah. liked wrestling, man. I I wanted the belts. I had I had yeah. a Hollywood Hogan like oh, WCW sh- full on merch shops, yeah, eighty dollars. Were you, so you were using all the money. You weren't then just like going and oh, I blew it all. Yeah, on wrestling specifically, oh, pretty specifically much yeah. wrestling and maybe a. a Maybe the start of a hip hop career that I never actually took <laughs> off. But were, were you were you rapping? I tried. Yeah. And then I yeah. very quickly was like, you know what? I'll just be a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> but not like, <laughs> You're like this is where my skill set yeah, rocks. Yeah. I don't need to say flies. words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, and then you quickly realized you could just do comedy. Yeah. I, well, can I? That's <laughs> I'm still figuring that out. But uh, yeah, that's really just a. That's like the greatest showman if it was made in a. Uh, Mental asylum. That's what. That's what my life has been. Oh my god. What was your? Did you have a? So you stopped the bus boy. Did were you yeah. um or in dishwashing? Did you get a job? A different job in high school? Eventually, I got a job at Wawa. That was pretty cool. Wasn't well, that's very Delco. This Wawa. Is, yeah. That's right. yeah. That's where the accent really started to come in. Yeah. Was yeah. There. Um. But yeah. Hey, let me get hoagie. a. Yeah. Let me get a hoagie. I was allowed to make stuff, which was cool. But you I made stuff at Wawa. Yeah, I made sandwiches. And this is back before cashier. they went too corporate. Yeah, this, this was this was like OG Wawa. This is like good, were, good sandwiches. They had you were really, really yeah. When I was there. yeah, yeah. And their own yeah. like rolls would come in every single day. Shit, wasn't allowed to use the slicer because I wasn't eighteen. So <laughs> probably a good. Yeah, good that call. makes sense. How, yeah. And that was your high school job. The, yeah, that was the high school job. And then what? What kind of kid were you in high school? Oh man, I was, I was a bad middle schooler, and then like. Uh, my parents took me out of public school and put me in a private school. It was like a Catholic school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know I like don't know anything about the religion. Like I'm raised Catholic, but not mm-hmm. really. Not you know? Were you baptized yeah. or I was baptized, but I didn't have confirmation. Okay. And I got confirmation yeah. eventually because I got married in a Catholic church. And they so and you require they require it. They, they require it. Okay. Yeah. And I so you got confirmed as an adult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got confirmed as a senior in high school. They're like, you have to take this class, it's oh. X amount of dollars. I was like, okay, never went to the class, paid the amount, and somehow still got confirmed. Oh, Amazing. So I was like, go. all right, cool. I'm, there we go. I'm Paul. <laughs> it's my confirmation name. Oh, Paul. Paul. Paul Matera? Paul, yeah. Yeah, Yo, Paul. Yeah. A.A. Paul. A.A. Paul. Father Paul. Because Paul's the guy who's like eyes, he was like a bad guy, and then he became a good guy. You know? That's and you're like, that's yeah. me? Yeah, I was like, that's 100%. <laughs> I was uh, a bad guy. <laughs> amazing. That were the, were the priests like, from uh, Delco as well? Oh uh, man, the so Yeah, so were, now you're fucking Paul and shit. Th- my one <laughs> <laughs> my one theology teacher um got fired. I was this is like a hearsay. He got fired like the year after I graduated because he showed the entire class a v- picture of a vagina before and then after sex. He, uh, this is what I was told. What? Yes. 
And yeah, was, so this is what the pussy looks like before he fucking before you smash, so before and you after smash, you smash, and then after yeah, you pretty smash. Much. This is post smash. Yeah. Wait, like, when you say post, you mean like there was an STD? But you said post. I'm like, sorry. Why sex or yeah, post like birth? Just sex. Just post sex. having sex with someone. Yeah. yeah. Why? What was the? That's purpose? not even no, no. like a. I think he got off to, on it. I, yeah, I think I think he he got off on it. He was in the Marines. And he was a okay. priest, right? So, like, uh, wild. I think he had something to Career prove trajectory. because he was a priest in the Marines. You know what I mean? So okay. he was like trying to be overly tough with these kids. Yeah, like showed us overly like, tough. Yeah, and he was showing us like the that's before, <laughs> that's after. Spot on. <laughs> yeah. He had the um the like the cadence and just like uh presence of what's this guy's name Otto from uh, Beetlejuice. You know the guy who comes in to do the seance. Yeah. He's like the uh, black guy, or not black guy, black hair, big guy. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I have no idea. I, I, I don't think I've seen it. That's I've never seen Beetlejuice. You've never seen Beetlejuice? No. That is a shame. Is it like a fit, like a Delco? Do they have like no, Delco? No, it's, it's a nationally loved, beloved movie. No, I've never seen it. Did you see it every day for 30 days straight? <laughs> I did not. It's not that good. That's okay. you know, like, It's true. no Armageddon. True. So yes. what, what was he, like, why was he showing you? Was I, it to show? I don't know. Was it to sh- demonstrate something? Dude, he showed us... Like it changes after sex? I think that's what he was trying to show us to... I think it was Wait, like, you saw the picture? Were you I in know, his class? I, or? I did, okay. this, was, this happened the year after. Yeah, but yeah. I think what he was going for, what I was told, was that he was just trying to deter girls from having sex before marriage by doing this. In the class, but he showed it to girls. Like, he showed it to boys and girls. So it was like a <laughs> class. Oh shit! Just boom, this is gonna like, be your pussy. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's your pussy before yeah. sex. He would tight, all, all he good. <laughs> that's your pussy after. He was, Loose, bad. He was a strange guy, man. <laughs> did he? Did he get fired? I th- yeah, he got fired after that. Yeah. Um, now give me five our fathers. Dude, he would break the, the class up in the teams. I was part of the pink flamingos on my team. I don't know what the hell that meant. Um, but we watched, all we did was watch mo- war movies. Like we were soldiers and shit like that. Okay. And uh, what was the one? What was, was the, the class? Theology. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And uh, what was the other thing we watched? Uh, West The West Memphis Three. Do you know about them? No. It's about these three guys. This is a documentary. Three guys that uh, were arrested as Satanists for like murdering children. Why did he show you that? I don't know. They played Metallica in it. That's your body before they kill you. <laughs> that's your body after they kill you. Yeah. Maybe Any that's questions? He has yeah. one shtick. He does it for everything. Yeah, every yeah. lesson. Real tough guy, man. That's Damn. fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. Did any? Um, it's a Catholic school. Did anyone get molested or anything? I'm sure. Like yeah. I just, I didn't hear about it. I was. You didn't hear enough. about it. Yeah. It didn't come <laughs> back. Yeah. Have you guys had Peggy on yet? We went to the same high school. No. Oh really? You same, went to the same high school at the same, same time. Same grade. Same. Really? No we fucking cla- way. We had classes together. Were you yeah. friends? Oh shit. Nah. Yeah, we were friends. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we were friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where? What was your we social in status in high school? Yeah. yeah. What was your? I uh, so really cool. Huh? I was like. Uh, Peggy was uh, in like like the star. You okay, know what I mean, yeah, of everything. Like, oh, she, like okay. uh, she she was doing everything in all the plays and all that kind of stuff. Like I hung out, like I was on the wrestling team. I hung out with everyone who smoked weed, and then I stopped all that, joined stage crew to like, cause I like my wife now, uh, and I just like was like, yeah, that's. So that. you met her in high school? Yeah. So Whoa, we, really? We met in ninth grade. Yeah. Dang, dude. Yeah. How long did it take you to ask her out? Uh, two years, but I wasn't like obsessing. It was just it happened. Gotcha. And did yeah. you uh, did have you been together ever since? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No. No splits or anything. Did you go to college or did you? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. went to. Uh, I went to Temple. Where'd she go? Go she went to Westchester. Wow. And yeah. you stayed together. Yeah. Crazy. I guess it's not that long distance, but it's no. so hard to forty five minute train through college. It's weird. Yeah. Like she. Uh, yeah. She lived at Westchester for a little bit. I always commuted. Uh, Cause I swore the band was gonna make it. <laughs> After the rap career didn't take off, I was like, maybe uh, rock is where. where it's what at. was your role in the band? Uh, I lead guitar. Nice. Oh hell yeah! yeah. There we go. Can you, can you shred? I can shred, bro. Oh damn! I'll there send you some that. vids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys yeah. like Led Zeppelin. Who? Yeah. I play a whole lot of love. Oh shit! I thought you were gonna say I was in that. <laughs> yeah, that's, I should have said that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> can we turn it? Hey guys, have you ever heard of Led Zeppelin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in it. Holy what? shit! Yeah, yeah, no, are you a member? Yeah, a wild Whoa. time. I used to think Led, Led Zeppelin was a guy. 
I, I used to think that yeah. too. It does sound a like dude. a cool lead. Yeah, I was like, he's great. Yeah, well, People it also because like, like Warren Zevon. Oh, our mom listened to him, so I was like, oh, it's yeah. Led Zeppelin and Warren Zevon. They're yeah. two oh, guys. Your mom's yeah. a Warren Zevon fan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna leave for another two hours. Just because you want to talk, you love Warren Zevon. Really? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's pretty good. Wow. Dark, dark, yeah. dark lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Really fucked Excitable up shit. Boy. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, wild shit. It's when, interesting. I'm like, was that more acceptable back then? Could you imagine someone putting out a song with those lyrics today? No, <laughs> it's a great song though. It. You gotta admit, it's a great song. Oh, I love that. It's, like it's one of my favorite songs, dude. The happiest melodic thing and then, ever. The darkest, yeah. Fucking. The turn, yeah. And he raped her and killed her when he <laughs> took her home. Yeah. Excited. Those are the real lyrics. Yeah. Hell said. Yeah. And then it's once he's uh, he made a cage with her bones. Made a cage with her bones. She's excitable boy. boy. They all said. Yeah. But it's Whoa. a really good song. Yeah. But could you fucking imagine if in 2023 no. someone came out with that no. song? Never. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a really good song. All of his songs were like dark and yeah. fucked up like that. Yeah. So you were kind of, when did the band start? Uh, band started in ninth grade when I said Sayonara, busboy. Oh. Life. So you Damn. were like, I'm going to start living the life of a rock star, making money this way. Did yeah. you think, when you started, everyone has the stupidest ideas when they start any pursuit. Like when I started comedy, I really thought it'd be like pretty, like a year before I made it. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same thought with, with the band. I was like, oh, we're for sure going to be like on tour, like living in a van. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. And then like everyone just got jobs. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we can't get off work. And I was like, dude. And I, Are you guys I, committed to I this remember at got all? so mad at my singer. Like, I really? cussed him out because I was like, dude, this is a big deal. Frightland wants us to play their stage two nights before Halloween. And they're giving us $500. Yes, there's five people in the band. And yes, we have to play from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. <laughs> but this is a big deal. I'm like... I mean, if you're like, what, 17 at the time? I, yeah. That yeah, would I, seem like a big deal. Yeah, like, I think I was 17 or 18. You'd be like, I just made it. Dude, but dude, I went to Fright those Land concerts. Yeah. I went to those concerts. Terrible. as When I was a senior, one of my friends... Younger Brothers was in a band. Yeah. And he was in 10th grade, I believe, so two years younger than us. And we'd go to those concerts, and it was <laughs> brutal. Dude. I mean, and you, yeah. you're you at that concert going, this, just by the fact that they had this concert, they'll never make it. <laughs> <laughs> With this on the resume, yeah. they're done for. Yes. Yeah. It's over for them. I, I remember, I can't tell you how many, like, uh, rented out church halls that I played yeah. early on. Ooh, uh, like we didn't do the renting out, just to clarify. Okay. Somebody else did, but I remember. Hell yeah! So you guys had an agent or a manager? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were signed by AEG. <laughs> AEG. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember one time we got in a fight with another band, like right after the show. No fucking way. Physical? Yeah, yeah physical. And I remember, dude, this is so what was it over? humiliating because I punched someone and like they didn't even flinch. Uh, <laughs> I was like at a bad angle and it's given me like fear of punching ever since. I was like, I can punch hard, right? I Where'd punch you punch him? Right, like in the face? Like, I, it was like head? a little jab. In the face? Yeah. And he was just like, are you serious? And I was like, oh, all right. So and, and dude, he was three times smaller than me. Oh, oh no. Which made shit. it worse. What was you the fight over? Him, wrestling, yeah, I dude. could. Yeah, yeah. I could have. So, first of all, they used our. They were like, "Hey, can we use your drums and amps? Because yeah, we didn't right. bring our shit." Like, no worries. What? All right, fine, that's cool. And like, so I had a pedal board. Yeah. Come on, I'm not gonna play guitar that great. <laughs> I need all those effects to make it sound nice. Yeah. So I had it like right off the stage, and the one dude jumped off while they're in their oh. set, jumped off onto the pedal board and started <laughs> stop like stomping on my shit. Wait, like during your set? During his and set. And it was oh, your okay, equipment? Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, this motherfucker. So I'm already pissed Bro. while this happens. And then, yeah. and of course, this is the type of show, like, nobody comes. Your families come. Exactly. Right? So my so little humiliated. sister is there. And their friend, like, the other band was so much cooler than us. Right? Oh, fuck. And, like, they're all getting drunk and stuff like that. Oh, shit. And so, like, somebody, one of their friends, like, got in my little sister's face. Like, this girl was walking by, like, what are you staring at, bitch? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no. And I just, like, I I pushed her. Okay. I, you know. Her? She, yes. Oh, I pushed her to the ground. I started kicking her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, wait, wait. You're but, curb stomping? Wait. Her, but yes, the, a girl the person got, that was yelling at your sister was a girl. Yes. Oh, okay. And I gave, like, a one-armed, like, push. Like, like get away from my sister. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rightfully so. And that's when this other kid came, like, frenzying over. 
what was also there was like two or three people between us. Oh. Right. So that's and when he I was did like, the, what the fuck are you doing? I did like oh, the that's when you hit him. punch. I was like, like <laughs> the six inch punch, but yeah. from too far away. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you, you yeah. just saw the very exactly. end of it. Yeah. It was like, you know, yeah, that Bruce Lee, yeah, yeah. that Bruce Lee, like, <laughs> Like but with that. a straight arm, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all from your it was terrible from your from waist, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, your bad neck. God, and then yeah, cops came and cops came. Really, cops, cops were called. Luck. Yeah, why? Because it was a church, or because like I think, was there brawl? No, there the was brawl no didn't real break out. Brawl. It was chaos, but it wasn't a brawl. Okay, uh, and I think somebody had called the police, so they just came to kind of disperse it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what happened. So you won the fight, or uh, like went no back one to really? Being a bus boy and haven't looked down ever, or looked up went, ever since. You went back to <laughs> no, being no, a bus. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I mean, I would. I didn't get in trouble, so yeah. like I feel like in that case I won. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I lost that life after that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just how you're? What's he do now? You know the guy. What's what's that I guy? I have no do? idea. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, were they at like a rival school too? Were they at your school? No, I, I think they were okay. at a rival school. God yeah. damn. Yeah. So there was a lot of, a lot of bad blood there. there a lot of tension there. Oh, man. Yeah. Yep. From the jump. All right. So you, you're smoking weed. You're in a band. Yeah, really cool. You're pretty cool. Yeah, thank I you. I mean, it sounds like you're pretty cool. Yeah. There. I was shaving my own head. Did you... <laughs> were you, like, cool in high school? Or were you in the cool group? I was cool adjacent. Okay. You know what I mean? I wasn't yeah, yeah. hanging out with the cool kids the all cool the time. The cool kids respected you. I would say, like, they tolerated They me. talked you know, to you. Yeah. 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 Man. That's kind of the best place to be. That's the best group to be in. Yeah. Because none of them die. That's true. The cool <laughs> the kids cool die. Kids die. They drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cool Man. kids like go flies. fast. They, I remember I went, uh, it was sophomore year, uh, end of the school. So we had a ritual of just, there was this KFC Taco Bell across the street from O'Hara. Oh, five. boy. That's the school where we went. Great yeah. school. Cardinal yeah. O'Hara. And everyone would smoke weed. Was it weed Cardinal there. O'Hara? Yeah. Oh. Everyone would smoke weed there in the morning and then walk over. Oh, you were a high before? Yeah, that was not a good... I shouldn't get high at all because I just there's not enough here. You know what I mean? To yeah. start. So uh, we would do that all the time. And my best friend who had been kicked out of the school already, he, he went to a, um, a like a development school mm-hmm. after the fact. Like, uh, And anyway, his family was going to Disney and they're like, do you want to come with us to Disney? I was like, yeah, that sounds great. That's amazing. So I get this free trip to Disney with his what? family. Yeah, that's dude, insane. And while I'm away, it's like the last week of school. Everyone gets busted. Everyone gets like... Really? Yeah, like three people got thrown out. Shit. Got thrown out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, and uh, like I think one other person came back, but then they didn't last long. What was there. this crew? Like how many was were in the crew total? Uh, in this crew, is probably like... Eight or nine people, and three of them got thrown yeah. out. So you lucked the fuck out. Yeah, wow. Would, do you think if you'd been there, you would have gotten thrown out? Oh, like yeah, you would have. Sure. You would have been. Yeah, yeah. they would have made an example out of you. Oh, damn, 100%. dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I had a, it a, a good in with the discipline office, though. I I did it right. Yeah, I started volunteering at the discipline office freshman year. Nice. So it's like I knew everyone intentionally. Smart. I smart. yeah, You're kind just looking of. for something to do. I was or? Like, yeah, I was more looking for something to do, but I was like, okay, well, this could. Benefit me down the road. Damn, if I, that's you know. that's forward thinking. That's for a really ninth grader, Machiavellian, yeah. and calculated I for knew, a ninth grader. Dude, I knew person. I was going to be getting into some trouble. I knew. It. Did it help? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Never got my fart machine back. <laughs> uh, but I didn't get expelled, so that helps. Yeah, so, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Did, yeah. did kids that were getting disciplined like hate that you were working for the office? No, if anything, they were like trying oh, to see if I me. could help them. Yeah. Oh, like, oh so that got you in like, see good graces with the kids yeah, too. That's, that's yeah, that's probably what got me cool adjacent. You know, yeah. interesting. Oh, yeah. you're seeing them all the time. Yeah, you they're like, "What are you hammer. doing here, Matera?" They're yeah. like, "I do the paperwork." They're yeah, like, oh, I'd go shit. over there. The disciplinarians, walkie talkies, just take them all off the charger. Oh you know? shit! So when they're out in the Ooh. field, oof, maybe damn inside job. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking yeah. I look for like the the merit slips. That would no. go up because no people way. get probate, probation and in school suspension, all yeah, that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. So they would just have a stack that needed to be processed. Yeah. So if you had a boy who was in trouble, no way. Yeah, I would. I would What'd go you do? look. You I, throw it out. Thumb through. I would look. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to incriminate myself. I don't know if this will hurt their record <laughs> nowadays, t- thirty years removed. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, couple, couple of demerits may have went missing. You know, wow. wow, let's yeah. go. Yeah. That's pretty legendary. You were the fucking man. Were they this like slipping why... you money for this or just asking favor? Yeah, yeah just favors. Yeah. No, Jake, yeah. you kind of seem like the coolest guy in school for this oh, shit. 
Because that's you. like like not like, like out- secret agent spy shit. Yeah. And it involves like getting in trouble, which generally had to do with like the cool circle. And yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the cool legendary. guys. The really the cool guys were the president, and you were like the billionaires backing the president. You were like Damn. pulling the strings. Yeah, I was successful. You were secretly <laughs> yeah, wielding the exactly. power. Exactly. Damn. Yeah. You were Logan Roy. You were God, Logan that's fucking Cardinal Roy. O'Hara. Fuck off. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Off. <laughs> Logan Roy. That, that's yeah. a yo. That's fuck a off. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dickhead. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's intense, dude. We were. I was. I guess I was cool in high school, but we just did a lot of drugs. Yeah. And I wasn't really. Like, well, I'm not friends with those kids anymore. Yeah. But that's what made you cool, I, I suppose, at our school. The, yeah, the I, ne- drug yeah. I never got, like, Band of Brothers bros with anybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah, same here. Did you play Bummer. any sport? Wrestling? I wrestled. What about your, what about yeah, your wrestling the buddies? The hated me. Oh, really? Why? Oh, okay. yeah. Because you are bad? Yeah. Well, yeah. That, okay. That. Yeah, and that and also, sense. I was, I, I mean, look at today. I've, I've <laughs> notoriously late to things, right? <laughs> so, like, I... You're in the school and practice starts like a half hour after. So and like, you're late to practice because yeah. you've been like secret agent spy, like <laughs> zip lining down yeah, to yeah. take a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know how to manage time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, and so it was just, it was just a disaster. And I remember one time I was late, and the coach who was like maybe like a two years graduated from O'Hara at this point oh, God. had a oh. goatee, definitely didn't belong in the building. Uh, He's he like just, 20. Yeah. And, and he's just like, just glassy eyed all the time. You know, he's, he's smoking no with you. Yeah. Before, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Trying to sell to you. Uh, I remember <laughs> I was late. So he had everyone lined oh up on the wall. Oh. And he's like, you go out in the middle of the, what? the wrestling ring. And when he blew his whistle, he would have someone attack me for 30 seconds. We would wrestle and he would point to someone else while we were wrestling and he blows whistle again. That person would then come attack me. What? While and the, and like so, I never knew who was coming to attack me next. And they're like, like in a, a circle, a circle around, around you, a firing yeah. line of your and, and teammates. And it was like ten straight minutes, and dude, they got ten minutes. Yeah. They beat the dude, shit out oh, of you. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah, I threw up that day. Oh, oh my god. god, dude. Yeah, dude, it's it was crazy. What and in college was it crazy too? Are you? No, nah, still in the band? No, no yeah. band. I did just buy an amp the other yesterday. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. Get just to, to play it. on your own? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm. I'm trying to find something because like mentally, I'm like, whew, I'm. I'm like a pile up on ninety five in my mind right now. What? So Why? I, I yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I'm just trying to find a way to get out of that. And like music was always a good like mm. escape. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Trying to go to more concerts and enjoy life. Yes. So yeah. So you're gonna have a jam room in the garage. Oh, it's the it's the basement, and uh, I call it the huff room because the there's a hole in the dry air vent, and I've just been huffing fumes for. <laughs> it's definitely taken me at, down a couple of. Maybe IQ that's why there's a blockage levels. in your brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And I could just fix it, but I'm like, I think I like it. You know. Yeah. It I think I like where high. this is going. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I think if you get a little brain damage, that's ideal. Yeah, I think I'm beyond that. <laughs> yeah, I'm well beyond that. Yeah. So you graduate high school, the <laughs> band breaks up. Yeah. Temple, massive school. Yeah. What what lane did you find yourself in there? So Temple, it, so again, I was commuting. So like, oh, uh, so yeah. no lanes. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah. really friends yeah. there. I yeah, mean. it was turn around. <laughs> Detour. You were the kid coming up to people after class, like, "Hey, what do you you guys want to hang out? Yeah, very I have like cool. two hours till the train. Yeah. You guys, have you tried the crepe truck? <laughs> it's really good. Um, yeah, so was that the band exist like coexisted while I was there, um, and then afterwards it became like a cover band, and I was like, that is, "This sucks." Oh yeah. So that's... yeah, when you have a bunch of drunk. This isn't even fucking art. This is derivative bullshit. Dude, yeah. So I remember as an original band, it was like. We played like the Trocadero when we were like 19, 16, what? 17. Yeah. That's kind of and, a big venue though. Yeah, but it was like a local promoter takes advantage of local bands. Uh, almost you brought brand all your friends. Yeah, almost show. like that. Yeah. yeah. So like we, it was like the first or second year out of high school and we had like 300 people there. Right. We felt like fucking rock stars. I bet. Oh my Incredible. God. And like we, then we just kept like, we didn't know like you're supposed to. One guy was like, yeah, you got to space out your local gigs like one every three months. Uh oh. And I'm like, no. No, we just want to play. Yeah. So, like, give it like a year later, like, we barely had 10 people at a show. 
they're yeah, like, we saw you yeah. so many times These last are the year. same songs. Yeah. You know? And, I just and it's just forget. your friends. And yeah. We're playing like Dobbs, which is like a legendary venue on South Street. It's like where Pearl Jam had played Nirvana. Oh my God. Tool had been there. Like all these great acts. And like, I'm like so excited to be there. And I look out, it's like just our friends, like the same eight people in this narrow <sighs> bar. Uh, and they're oh all no. against oh the no. walls. Ah. Uh. On their phones uh, while we're playing our like uh, these songs that we really just like oh, no, poured it dude. all into. Damn, dude. And I was like, okay, is that when, when you went? I'm done. This I was is... like, Ooh. I was like, all right, maybe we'll do covers because then people danced and they were into it. And then, I mean, it just took like show after show. It was a Groundhog Day where a woman would come up to us, a, a drunk girl would be like, "Play Wagon Wheel," and you're like, all right, well. <laughs> then she'd fall into the mic and frustrate everyone and <laughs> they kept trying to take the mics and i was like all right oh, well, yeah God. i can't do this and then dealing with everyone's schedules like i'll just do comedy that seems easier <laughs> <laughs> is that why you started that's the band those shows are, out? are better attended it was it was a combination of i the biggest appeal to comedy was i didn't have to worry about anyone else's schedule yeah and i don't i can't sing otherwise i would be like maybe i'll just go i'll just go solo own. yeah yeah but i was like just a singer songwriter vibe. Yeah. Just were you a comedy? Were you a uh, like a class clown? Were you goofing off? I was at a school? class clown, but I wasn't like a comedy nerd. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I had one tape. It was George Carlin uh, jamming in New York. Didn't know it verbatim, but I did enjoy it. It's just the memory that surrounds that is a kid named uh, Bill in grade school who put a knife up to my throat. Uh, in grade school? Yeah. Uh, at his house, we were jam- uh, jamming. And uh, I was telling him a story about how I, again, uh, I there was like a fight at my house and I like, argued with my sister. And he's like, don't ever put your hands on your sister. I didn't put my hands on my sister, but he, was, he came from a very abusive home and I was in it and at, he, as we spoke. And he just jumped, grabbed a, a Bowie knife he just had next to his bed and put it up to my throat with pressure. Oh my and God. Was like, don't ever touch your sister. I was like, whoa. I was like, I didn't like and he's dang just like, and you're, you can see in his eyes he's living a nom uh, moment uh, dude, yeah and i was like oh man it's how like old you're were his you dad. yeah you're his dad in that yeah 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 for sure it was like that was like seventh grade eighth grade Jeez. holy Jesus shit Christ. yeah so oh that was God, my that's terrible only that's not funny at all man yeah <laughs> that was your introduction <laughs> to comedy i was like i don't know about carlin <laughs> yeah <laughs> it seems kind of intense for me yeah. that was pretty good i it don't like people do very violent scary things yeah he's good for 30 minutes before there's a knife pressed against your Jugular. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Wait, so, yeah, so y- you heard of that? And then you quit the band, yeah. right? And you're how old are you at that point? So when I quit 20- the band, I was what? I was 20. I was, oh, okay. Post college. Yeah, yeah, I was post college after I quit. I uh, probably like 26. Was it the wow. same dudes yeah. performing all 10 years? Um at the end, no. Like the last two, three years, no. And I'm I'm different. also yeah. gathering that you are you're the one like Come on, guys. We got to What are your schedules? You're keeping the band yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah. I was. So as soon as you're like, I'm out, they're, they're just, it just dissolves for yeah, them. Yeah. 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 That's kind of what happened, which was a bummer. But oh well. Yeah. You know? But then you found comedy 25, 26. Yeah, 25. Um, first time I tried it was at Helium because I didn't know where else to do oh, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Daryl was hosting wow. the open mic. Daryl Charles. Oh, was the mic? Daryl you got Charles. on the mic? Yeah. But was it back? That's uh, like an olden. It was. I don't know if you can get on the mic nowadays as a. No. Yeah. So, time. it was like a weird. Um, it was like a weird workaround. If I'm being honest. Okay. Um, because I had worked at a radio station interning for. Um, President w- Steve, President right? Steve yeah. At WMMR. Mm-hmm. So all the like, helium would come through with the comedians all the uh, time. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I had met Patrice. I had met Greg Geraldo. Oh shit! I had met all these. So people. you just name oh, dropped yeah. them, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, no, no, you can no, get on the open no, mic." No. So like <laughs> the one guy that would come, I didn't know was one of the owners of Helium. And I was oh. like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. And they're like, I said something to their PR person who I had a better relationship with. Like, I was thinking about trying it. And they're like, email, you know, so-and-so. Like, he'll, you know, see what he'll do. And he, sure enough, he got me, like, right on. I was like, oh, my God. How was wow. your first time? Uh, it was decent. You know? How many like, people? It, it felt good. Um, God, probably, like... 50 or 60, you know? Did you do the same shit you'd been doing with your band? Like, everyone, come on out. See no. Yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, you're like, yeah, let song. me do this one secretive. Yeah. 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 I did have my, my family did show up. 
And like I remember, like everyone was so pissed. They're like, "Wait, we have to drive all the way to the city, and you're going to do what? Three, three minutes? minutes?" You're like, "Yeah, <laughs> you <gotta do> it. <laughs> yeah, Dude, brutal." Wait, so you also so you interned at um, WMMR? Mm-hmm. You I quit that to intern for Conan. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say I knew you did that. So yeah. you were always interested in the entertainment yeah, and, I, I, and comedy. I think I wanted things. to like work in production. Yeah, you know that's what I wanted to do, and then. Just there's no opportunities around here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, all right, well, I guess I'll just do the thing. <laughs> so I interned for Letterman and The Soup when oh, I was nice. in college. Okay. So what was your experience like applying and then uh, like on on staff and on set? Applying for uh, it, uh, President's Eve was uh, pretty simple. I just sent the email, had an interview, and I think at that time they just – People, I guess, didn't know they could just email yeah. and like get an interview at that point. So I got the interview and got it, and that was awesome. And then Conan was a little different. So Conan, again, weird work around here. Uh, it's, my whole life is just a weird work around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, it was really I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> um, but so I, I was at Temple doing this internship at President Eve, there was a cameraman from SNL who had just retired, like giving a talk. And at the end of his talk, he said, yeah, and I got my kids in the business. My daughter writes for Leno. My son works for Conan. And I was like, oh my God, I love Conan. Yeah. Like, this is like, uh, I think this is right after the whole, uh, him getting kicked off the Tonight Show. Yeah, kind of he had just started TBS. Yeah, uh, this is before TBS even happened. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, or no, actually, no, sorry. This is after. So that he was already at TBS by mm-hmm. this point. Um, and I just remember going up to him afterwards. He's like, I want to talk to your son. Like, which is the worst thing you want to say to <laughs> Talk to your someone? son. I was like, can I have... Because working there. I was like, can I have his number? I just want to see what it's like. <laughs> like, he's like, no. You can't have my kid's <laughs> number. Like, thinking about it now as a dad, if anyone Horrifying. Asked me, yeah, yeah. The worst Fuck. approach yeah. I could have done. Yeah. <laughs> But I sent a follow-up email, and he's like, just give me your number. I'm like, okay, I know what this means. I'm not going to hear from yeah, this guy. of course. And, uh, I, dude, I remember this was, like, a very sad day. Like, my mom, who I, like, who I lived with my whole life, she was in the hospital. We thought she was going to die. Like, we're all, like, surrounded her by her in the ICU. I get a call from a number I don't recognize. So I just, like, let it go to voicemail. And then I have a voicemail. And, uh... It's like visiting hours are up anyway. So like I'm listening to it on my way to my car and it's like maybe 10 minutes had went by and it's the guy, he's the stage manager at Conan and he's just like, hey, uh, my dad said you wanted to t- listen to what it's like to talk about what it's like to work for Conan. Yeah, if you want to give me a call, I have like a 45 minute drive. We could talk. Damn. And so all we did was talk. I just called him back, asked him every single question I wanted to know about and I was just like, I didn't want anything from it. I just wanted to know what. Yeah, it. yeah. And he's like, well, you should like apply to be an intern. I was like, actually, I I have, but like, it's yeah, that's not why I'm calling. I just wanted to hear what it, what how he is. He's like, oh well, you know what? I'm gonna say something to the uh, production manager. I'm like, you don't have to do that. I'm, oh, this is you what, didn't even want a job. No, I just, I mean, I I did, but I didn't want to. I, that's not why I was reaching out to him. Like, I yeah, swear you just to wanted God, to learn yeah, about it. I did that yeah. a million times in college. And then, like a day or two later. The production manager called me and offered me the... Well, we did the interview. I thought it went terribly. She's like, nothing on your resume impresses me. I was like... Oh. She said that? Yeah. She's like... I was like, I got President and Steve. She's like, I don't know what that is. Right, yeah. Like, She's in LA. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And I was did like... Did you go to LA to do the interview? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Not the interview. The uh, to the internship, yes. But yeah, but not for the, the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I remember it was like December 13th. And she's like, could you be out of here by January 1st? Like to start work? And I was like, yes. Like, I didn't even know how. I just said yes. I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll make it. Sure so, did happen. you take a semester off? No, no. I used it as like one of my semesters. I because I had to get college credit for it. Uh, you had to pay for it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I did. <laughs> Thanks, FAFSA. Um, <laughs> this was before because you were in college, right? Yeah. So this is oh, like right. years before. Yeah. This was like a. This was probably like. This was the ground zero of like me actually getting the courage to do it because. Mm. Um, I worked in the monologue department. So, like, I just wrote this. They taught you how to, like, they tested all the interns who were interested. And if you were able to find, like, the best stories or whatever, like, the most stories, like, you got selected to be a monologue intern, which was just. You write setups. Yeah, you write the setups. Damn. And then you. That's sick. Yeah. And you would see, like, 200 jokes a day from the monologue writers of, like, how, like, 
how they were being formulaic and all this. And like it taught me what a joke formula was. Huh. And I was like, oh my God. And like, they're all great. Like they all have a, like they're great writers, very funny people all have awards, but like it's a quantity business. So, yes. like, mm-hmm. so you're trying to submit as much as possible. So like the stuff in the, like the later pages of the packet. It's like trash. The dust, yeah. So it's like them just try, trying to get anything in. Huh. And I was like, oh, well, I, you know, I don't, I don't have any confidence, but I was like, I think I can do one better than page like, nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was like my first, I was like, that's a professional person's joke. So I think I could write one better than a, as good as that one. Or That's wild. And that's how it, yeah, that's how it, I developed the delusion to do it. I saw the funniest bit the other night, which was, uh, the, it's crazy. Like how, inspiring people that are really bad at something can be because we all talk about like how inspiring greatness is yeah. Yeah. Like Kobe but no one talks about how inspiring someone who's absolutely dog shit is because yeah. you go I could be better than that yeah 100%. and someone said that it's it inspired them to start stand up because <laughs> they saw someone so so bad they're like I'm better than that that's and then that's they the started biggest learning curve like I remember like because I there was a minute where I was like teaching workshops and classes and stuff like yeah. locally and it was like, that was like my biggest piece of advice. Cause I remember early on, it's just like, you would go to an open mic and it would be so bad. So bad. And like, mm-hmm. you would be just as bad. Yeah. But you would at least, and you would be able to remove yourself, like to watch other people. You know what I mean? So yes. you weren't in your head about it. Yes. So you'd be like, oh, okay. Yes. That was bad. I see what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I could do that and like execute it well. Like without like not stealing their joke kind of thing. It was more like, the type of like joke they were trying right, to do. Right. What they were, well, almost what they were thinking. Yeah. You're like, oh, I, I could have executed that. Yeah. What they were, exactly. what they were going for. Did you have any, uh, celebrity run ins when you were on Conan? Um, you weren't really supposed to talk to anybody, but like I did, like, like I mean, I was out there, I was on an episode with Will Ferrell when he was announcing Anchorman 2. Cool. It was like big news. That's cool. They were like, quick, we need an intern. And they just grabbed you? Uh, I was in like a sketch that aired like during that like he also came out did like the first thing right like, right after the monologue and yeah. then when they came back for commercial it was like our sketch and then the guest and then it was Will Ferrell as Ron Burgundy after that so yeah. you have a Conan credit I well I hate using it as a credit because it's not you, a, you, yeah. yeah as a stand up a credit is yeah, it's different. someone <laughs> yeah. someone recently told me they're like holy shit you intern for Letterman dude why don't you like say that when you're getting brought <laughs> up to and I was how like embarrassing with yeah, that bit yeah. oh, I can God. tell you how your times. next comedian was an intern for the David Letterman <laughs> show he was a <laughs> research in the scheduling intern. department yeah. Yeah. Dude, I can't tell you how many times I I've done a show where somebody wrote like from the Conan O'Brien show it's uh. like don't that's and not, then everyone's like oh my God it it's a, so. yeah well it. Yeah, it's the, as long as they don't assume it's Conan, you may as well have been on Conan, yeah. like as a stand-up, you know. Yeah, that was dude. That was the dream, like for me, is to yeah. get, get back the, there. Because you and I we had talked about it briefly, like mm-hmm. early on, like you said, making it one year in. I was like, all I want is to like figure this out and come back to Conan. Yeah, that's all I want. And honestly, and have him introduce you as one of my former interns. I have him be like, yeah, this next comedian, like every intro was like the same. Like this next comedian is very funny. You catch him at blah, blah, please welcome so-and-so. And then just like, I was like, this is it. Like, that's all I want. And then they, they, they're, they're done. Done. So that's Can't never going that to happen. Yeah. And I've been wandering aimlessly ever since. <laughs> I was like, that's all I wanted. I didn't want to sell out clubs. I just wanted just, to be. Just wanted coding. to go back. I find yeah. the boss. You performing at stadiums? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, thank Shit. you. This isn't it. This yeah. isn't Conan, though. <laughs> yeah. Bigger than God. So yeah. <sighs> Full on Beatlemania. Just want to do just, Conan. <sighs> bring him back. <laughs> Beatlemania for <laughs> yeah. Materamania. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be the saddest, Materamania. Saddest Beatlemania I've ever seen. <laughs> the most yeah. fun Beatlemania. Yeah. A lot of screaming. A lot of heavy breathing. A lot of. A lot of. Women Oof. sexualizing you. Could, could you imagine? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> How are your kids, man? They're good. Is it weird to have kids? It's, it's it, a trip. It, it was so ever, weird. Yeah. And now it's like, it's the only thing I care about. It's awesome. Interesting. Uh, which, yeah, that part sucks. Is like now, because I'm like, instead of being like, oh, I get to, I got a show tonight. I'm like, fuck, I got a show tonight. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I, and I'd, I yeah. love doing comedy, but also it's like, when it doesn't go well, like when it you have to prove compare. yourself to someone and you're like, I don't have to prove shit to you. I can yeah. go home and 
watch Blippy with my child. Blippy's the worst one to watch, <laughs> by the way. Um, but yeah, being a dad is so freaking cool. I got two boys, and uh, the one, the oldest is like so sweet with the young younger one. Like mm-hmm. he like he takes on like an, another parent role. Like he'll get him out oh of my his God. crib. Really? He'll console him when he's crying. Isn't he like five? Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. He, he's the sweetest kid. And then my second one is just. A maniac, like really? full on, yeah, trying to jump off the stairs right now. It's like, <laughs> oh god, yeah, because he Jesus. sees his brother doing this stuff, so he's like, oh, I'm gonna, right, his yeah. brother who can run and wait. Walk how old and... is the younger one? Three, one and a half. Whoa, yeah, so okay. he's, yeah, he's not ready. ready to jump off the and, stairs. And we have a pit bull who is old, okay, uh, that my one year old torments, and we're like. Yeah, you've heard all, all the horror stories yeah. with pit bulls, and we love, like, you know, whatever. We try not to, like, believe that stuff too much, even though it's not, it's fact. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. try not to believe it. Uh, uh, we try not to believe it. It's those fact, facts. but distorted fact. Yeah. And, like, the our one year old will, like, Fox News is definitely the pushing the agenda <laughs> that pit bulls are dangerous. Yeah. yeah. More crime and where pit bulls are. In, in pit bull neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he beats the shit out of them. The one year old beats the shit out of the of people. the dog. Yeah, really. Yeah, like like rips on his ears, really pulls his tail, oh boy. bites him, and we're like, please stop. Like, <laughs> does the dog just like take it, it at this yeah, point? Yeah. But it, there's he always has. ticking time bomb. Do you have what? cats? No, no, I'm allergic. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Scary. Did you have a, like animals growing up? Too many. Too many. Really? Yeah. I had. A, I had. A, we had like a revolving door of dogs. Okay. And always just die. And then, uh, oh boy, that's then, strange. What, yeah. what do you mean? How many dogs did you have when from like when you were and not like born to when you were 18? I think, uh, one till I was 18. Oh, okay, one, two, three, four. What? No, f- three. Why Gizmo? Did you get them after they were Gizmo old? got hit by a car? Oh boy, oh sorry, that's awful. Reggie, whose stomach's uh, like in like flipped over. The fuck! Uh, what yeah. does that mean? That's a thing that can happen to dogs. What? Their stomach it twists turn- on yeah, the and then inside? you die, yeah, and yeah. then it dies. Yeah, it's like a it very can't... painful death. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Fuck! And then, uh, but he lived a long life. Okay. Um, and then Hoops, which was he was the man. It's a good dog name. And then yeah, went out. That is a good dog and name. then Warden, which is a German Shepherd, but <laughs> Hoops scary, and Warden yeah, lived scary. together. Yeah, yeah. For a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had cats too. Even though I was allergic. I was about to say. Yeah, they didn't give a shit. But you, I have heard anecdotally you can get used to cats. I know yeah. people that are allergic that live with a cat for long enough and they're not allergic to that specific cat. Yeah. That's while they wild. are allergic that's, to other that's cats. That's what I felt like happened with me. Like yeah. I was fine at our house if I went to someone else's house. Mm-hmm. And now if I'm around cats, it's, it's game over. Yeah, Damn. exactly. Uh, but our cats, both the cats, died somewhere in our house. And we have yet to find them. What? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. From like Pretty when gross. you were a kid? Well, or well like, I've heard cats. Like high school. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard cats go elsewhere to die. Yeah. But could you smell it? Could you smell them? There was, a, there was the one house? summer in particular that there was just like, man, there's a lot of flies in this house. Oh, and we, no. And we couldn't dude. find out where. Oh, fuck. And like, my, you know, my parents weren't paying to have someone find it. So Jeez. it's still, the bones are probably still there. Holy if you guys want to go tear up my that- parents. <laughs> Basement, <laughs> guys, we found it. Yeah, we yeah. found a God. pile of bones. Damn, yeah. dude. I'm assuming this is that was that was Simba. feathers. Holy fucking Simba. shit, Simba. Yeah, Simba and Lucky. We had a uh, hamster. Well, we had cats growing up, and we had hamsters. Did you really? And uh, the I hamsters, had hamsters. Uh, yeah. the hamsters got pretty murdered every time. Treadmill well, we, stuff. Every single one of them got eaten by the cats. I would. Oh imagine. no! Well, we don't know. They got uh, out. Tyler. Don't one be half naive. Escaped. Don't be <laughs> naive. I mean, we just never we never saw them once they got out of the cage. Yeah. yeah. I remember one. The part of the house smelled pretty bad, so he might have just gotten in the walls. Oh, um, damn. But yeah. Just like half of them escaped, and he's crawling. Right. Just like two like arms just <laughs> sc- scraping away. Well, that's sad. Yeah. Really fucked. We should have a memorial for him. Yeah. We one time, uh, uh, our <laughs> cats killed a bird, like a full, like a grown pigeon. Yeah. Oh my god. And my sister and I, my twin sister and I, we held a burial service. <laughs> so we we dug a hole with a shovel in the yeah. yard, 
We put the bird in, we covered the bird, and then we played Where is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> <laughs> and we horrible. sang along. Oh my God, that's hands, so funny. Must have been like 10, 11. Crying. Yes. <laughs> Children <laughs> hurt and you hear them <laughs> And just throat's getting just thick. You're just like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember. Practice yeah. what you preach. <laughs> yeah. Could you turn the Damn, other cheek? that's adorable. I remember we did a being. Whole burial. Yeah, we did a whole burial. I was so sad. I was like, he's gone. And I didn't know. Him. We <laughs> didn't have a bird. I just went, he's gone. <laughs> He's wow. gone. Oh, oh, my God. Full circle here. Yeah. The place I read, the restaurant where I was a busboy, the manager's son was the manager of the Black Eyed Peas before they broke. Before, what? Before, what? Before, before Ella Funk. There was like another album that was like more underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in So before of, they exploded. Before Fergie, I think. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Was he like coming wow. back to Delco and like chains? Never, and, like, I never saw. Yeah, okay, yeah. W- w- was he successful or was it before they broke? So he wasn't. I I guess he didn't like ride the get train. the money. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. I think maybe they left him. He like, ended up managing your band, so that tells yeah, you all you yeah. need to know. <laughs> <Jamie>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now he's managing my comedy career. <laughs> which has brought me so many great places. <laughs> yeah, not Conan. Yet. Yet. Well, he's. I know. We have green screens, right? We can do this. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can trick people Deep into fake. it. Of course. That's the thing people do, right? Give it up for your next comedian. Oh, man. The hilarious Jake Matera. Can I take that and then add it to Conan's Go verse? for it. Right. Yeah, just put it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've been going through a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? No, I, the, I, I don't know, man. I think I'm trying to figure down. out medicine. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I got on Zoloft. Did you? It's really good, yeah. Does, do you feel like it's making you like foggy at all or no? no? Just better. Because I, maybe it, I, I have heard people say that. Yeah. But for me, it was like what was causing any fog or, or inability to focus was anxiety. And then the Zoloft fixed the anxiety. Hmm. So now I feel a lot cleaner, way more productive. Whoa. Yeah, okay. like way, way, like I work out more. I, yeah. I write more comedy. I'm just more able to focus because I'm less worrying. Dude, that's Whoa. crazy. Absolutely. Like it's absolutely helped. Weirdly enough, I, it's almost been like Viagra for me because I used to not be able to get erections because yeah. of anxiety. And that then sucks. when I did get erections, I would prematurely ejaculate cu- also because of anxiety. Yeah. And Zoloft fixed both of those problems. Are you serious? Yeah. God damn. I yeah. Wanna, I think I want to try me some of that. It really Zoloft. fixed my life. Are you an anxious way. person, Jake? I thought I was. Apparently, I'm not. I went What's through that a, mean? Too. So I went through a whole I think you would know. psychological... <laughs> I think I am. Evaluation? Uh, maybe ang- is anxiety and like neuroses two different things? Because I feel like they're no. they're steep, they're definitely they're related. Intertwined, yeah, right? the same thing. Um, but yeah, I, I went through a whole thing where I was like, yeah, I definitely have ADHD. This this dryer is killing me, and it's really hurting. <laughs> Gotta get that my, fixed, man. This yeah, what this the dryer in my basement, the fumes <laughs> I was telling you about. It's just like that's where <laughs> I work. Fumes, I was you about. Yeah, it's I'm just, picturing like a like a cartoony fumes, oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> like like a, a cloud of over yeah. The, yeah. There's like, legit. Your wife words. opens the door. <laughs> When you walk yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you walk, dinner's ready. <laughs> when you walk up to it, there is a cloud. Oh, actually, oh, there is a legit oh. cloud, and you there. stick your head in it. Oh, I, I sit there and I, I put a silly straw in it, and I just huff, <laughs> put it next to that hole. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I so I was like, I definitely have ADHD. Then it's not the brain cells. So I went and got tested for ADHD. All my friends were like, Yeah, you just tell them you're you you know distracted. They give it to you. No, I went through a grueling. Yeah. What was supposed to be a three-hour test, it took me five hours. Are you serious? And I left crying. Are you serious? This was when? This was two years ago. Okay. Or, oh, yeah, two, or, or actually, it's maybe got, a little over a year ago. Got to be not yeah. even that long ago. I was gonna say more recent because they started cracking down. Yeah. Because people are abusing like Adderall yeah, and, yeah, and all these yeah, focus. I don't want to abuse it. I just want to get shit done. Yeah. Like, I just really. So what did the test um, say? Uh, major depression. Which I was like, that sucks. Like, no, I don't. Major, by the way. Yeah, You're like, this isn't what yeah. I was looking for. Yeah, maybe it was. Just Dude, severe. you've yeah. got major depression. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> Radical depression. But that bummed me out big time because I've always just, I thought I've just been, been like moody. You know what I mean? Like, just yeah. a moody teenager. Yeah. My whole life. And also now it's like, I have a beautiful family. I love my, like, I'm so happy with my family. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to convince anyone, but it's, <laughs> also it's like, how can I feel that happiness and be majorly depressed? 
Like, yeah. But there is a duality to it. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm trying to, I don't know. I'm trying to Are figure you angry? Like, do you worry about your family or? Not at all. I don't Why did you think you were anxious? <laughs> Why did you think you were anxious, though? Um, I know. I just think with like, like overthinking conversations, bookings, that kind yes. of, all that kind yep. of shit. Yes, like, yes, yes. Uh, you know, before sets, like leading up to shows, like, oh, is this going to be good? All that kind of. Oh, maybe you need some Zoloft, dude. That helped me a lot in all of the ways you're describing. Yeah. Now I don't have any of it. Oh, which is wait, nice. Wait, but you, well, you started well, taking well, anything well, or no? Are you on meds? Yeah, I'm on Adderall. Oh, oh, oh okay. you're on Adderall, I'm and on it was Adderall. just eighty. So you passed the not test. Working. Oh, yeah, it is not. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, at yeah. all. I've been saying it from like the jump. First uh, month, I was like limitless. Second, yeah, month, but I think it was a placebo effect, and like now yeah. it's just like it's just back to not nothing. getting any. <laughs> you might just that. be anxious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You could just yeah. Maybe Zoloft will help. You can get hit. You know hymns. Do you know that? It's like a mental health. I thought it was a boner pill too. It's for it's just men's medicine online prescriptions for for like quote unquote men's health. So you can get Viagra, but I got Zoloft just by literally I typed it in, like I filled out a questionnaire. Yeah, I requested the drug I wanted, which was Zoloft. Whoa! (laughs) And then they sent it to me in two days. Like someone prescribed it. Really? Who's a real That's physician? That's how this works. But wow. it's not a real. I've process. heard of hymns, but I didn't realize that it was like it's not legit Damn. at all. It's, it's so like legal. the equivalent of like a medical marijuana dispensary in like a yes Jersey where That's they're crazy. like yes. Do you have yeah. emphysema? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah, yeah yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here you go. No, I think I see some. No, I don't think I have yeah. any. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm just gonna put down yeah. emphysema. Are you afraid of sea turtles? <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Are you afraid of? It's just things you should be afraid of. <laughs> <Yeah>. Knives. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah. yeah, that's not good. Are you afraid of nuclear fallout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picture yourself <laughs> dead, and it's, it's a black void forever. Does that scare you? You know what's funny is that doesn't scare me. You need some weight, really. That doesn't scare me. Okay. I think I'm, death or death is yeah. like. I mean, I don't want to die, right? Nobody wants to die, but like. I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't put myself in harm's way. Sounds like you're depressed. That. Yeah. I was but about it, to say <laughs> this really? is depression because that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. Really? Yes. Because it's like, it, I just. The I, difference is you're not suicidal. Yeah. I'm not. You're depressed. I like, I'm not welcoming yeah. it, but it's just, I like, got whatever. That's, you know, yeah, that's like, depression. I've really? literally yeah, been. I thought I've yeah. just been okay with death this whole time. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'd been okay. You just thought you were like spiritually. <laughs> Yeah, like like at whole. peace. Yeah, yeah. At peace. I, was like, I was like, all right, well, it's, yeah. It's... No, you should want to be alive. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I do. <laughs> I've literally I been working on a this. joke about yeah. this, yeah. and there are, there's people in the audience that are sometimes like, "What do you mean you think about like dying and all yeah. this stuff?" And then there's other people that are like, "I know exactly yeah. what he's talking about." Yeah, I'm just, and I'm just like, it's never crossed your mind like ever. No. Like you've never been like coming down, like you know, you're driving on a cliff and there's kind of a sharp turn. You've never thought about just like, what if I just yeah take yeah. my hands off the wheel? <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, I, I have. I, I would sure. have yeah. those thoughts. Yeah. I would be like, yeah. Let's well, see how long I can close my eyes, dude. I used to do that blue, too. Yeah, I was. Let's just see how I used long to I do that on the highway on the blue route. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, really? Oh, buddy. What's the long? I would get like eight to ten seconds. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I think Mississippi. No, uh, Mississippi. probably not Mississippi. Yeah. I think yeah, probably. Probably. What is he for? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. fucking god! I don't want to die. Oh my yeah. god! I don't want to die. You end up like yeah. you end up closing your eyes quicker Thank than you fuck. would normally blink. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, but yeah. no, I've done that exact same shit yeah. too. Where I wow. close my eyes driving it's, just to it's feel brutal. something. Wow. And, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. again, I'm happy as hell with my family, with like life. Things are going well. It's yeah. Just, but like, yeah, yeah. I just don't care. I like how you're still in denial that you're depressed. Yeah, you're depressed. Yeah, it's not yeah. depression. You're depressed. I just yeah. like kind of have this general malaise towards living. Dude, it's, it's recently, like, I, I won't even book myself anymore. Yeah, like, I'm just like, ah. It's okay. The material is fine. It's not good enough to ask for shows. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna, just gonna see who offers it. <laughs> mm. So really, yeah. just on a steep decline. Yeah, know? that's not that's not yeah. a good place to be in, man. I will say, I was in a similar place for a long time, and I didn't know what would help. 
And my friend was like, you got to stop. Like, he was like, it's just hard to be your friend. You got to get on meds or something. I you got to try that. something. And I was like, I was like, yeah, but I, I don't have insurance. I can't get meds. And then he was like, well, doesn't Hims like do it without insurance? I looked it up. It was like $100 for three month prescription, yeah. like 30 bucks a month. That's like pretty cheap. And it cheap. literally changed my life. God. So damn. I will say there, there could be a solution out there. there was, there's definitely a solution. Yeah. It could be medical. Heroin. <laughs> heroin twofold. might help yeah well, it's a little more expensive than hymns but yes that is another option i think it's funny i i have these things that'll happen it's like i'll take steps forward like i'll have progress and then it's like i'll jump 20 steps back i yeah. know it's like a cliche thing to say but like um like last uh year i started going to the gym i was going like four times a week oh yeah is uh, that helping it's been help. It's been very helpful, like mood wise. Like yeah. I haven't gone yeah. at yes. all yep. this week. Totally. And uh, like I'm it's, in the dumps. You feel right like now. shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I was trying to decide if I could get to class before the podcast, and I'm like, I, I there's not enough time. And I was like, all right, well, I'll skip it. And I'm like, man, the whole ride up, I'm like, I should just tell him, I'm, I, you know, I should just start saying no to things. <laughs> Yeah, because I just like yeah. I am not in the right headspace uh, for it. Yeah, yes. you know yeah. what I mean. I'm I like, do know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's also like, funny to say on the pod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I drove not here want to like, be here. regretting <laughs> it. No, no, I, I, I almost canceled I was twenty minutes ago. It. I've been excited to do it, and I was having anxiety. Like I'm just going to be, just, I'm going to ruin it. And like I think I even made that joke as soon as I pulled up. Yes, I was like, you oh. did. You said like, this is your last episode or something. I was like, I'm going to tank it. I'm going to. Yeah, you might not release it. Yeah. I think Zoloft might help, man. Some but, kind of anxiety, man. This all sounds like anxiety to me. Really? This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. anxiety is a, didn't show up on that test, that crazy test. They, were like, they don't fucking have, have any idea, dude. Yeah. They prescribed you ADHD pills. That's and true. They passed me off to a fucking intern. They're not ass. working. Yeah. 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 They passed you off to the equivalent of you at Conan. They made me do puzzles. <laughs> And I I've, like, I've did that shit in high school. Do a click for ADHD. Hey, just so you guys know, I don't do many puzzles in my day to day fucking life. <laughs> so do. this isn't this is very helpful. A long I, like, time. I just I, worry a lot. Do you think it's anxiety? Oh, this puzzle will tell me. I like regular puzzles because I can get hyper focused. But this was like this triangle needs to fit into this oval and this circle. And you're like, I. Uh, fucking kill me. I remember the the doctor when I. <laughs> That's went, how they know you're depressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Shoot me in the face. Yeah, yeah. You look at the puzzle. You look one glance at the puzzle. <laughs> literally hang me from the rafters <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, you have major depression, man. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh my I'm, god. Oh yeah, I am still in denial. I'm not gonna. I'm not. These guys don't know what they're talking about. This episode has I could get been you him closest dude. to real therapy, dude. I could I, fucking I th- get I you him. Uh, I'm so sorry. I swear yeah. to God, I could get yeah. you. No, hymns. that's how. Yeah, that's. I just want to go back to that movie theater. And our our Peter's hour Florida. is coming to a close, <laughs> yeah. and Jake, we were going. We're going to write you a prescription. Yeah, we'll get you a prescription. You guys can do that. We're through officially a fucking, through a sham therapy. website oh called Hims, yeah. which is very helpful. Yeah. If you Are know what sponsor? you need, it's very helpful. Are they a sponsor of the podcast? They're about no, to be. but uh, they should. I'm honestly, they should sponsor. We it. pay them. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I pay for them Zoloft. every month. <laughs> yeah, for, for Zoloft. Yeah, maybe I should do that. The opposite of a sponsor. Yeah, because I talked to my doctor about it. This definitely sounds like an infomercial I'm setting up. But he's what did like, you? I talked to my doctor about him. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to, about like depression medicine. And he's like, uh, you can't be on depression medicine and ADHD because it's like. Yeah, don't do the ADHD shit probably. I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll just sell it then. I, uh, by the way, one problem with ADHD meds like Adderall and stuff is exactly what you described, which is you have to keep upping the dosage. It's kind of going a little bit the way that Oxy was going. Yeah. Which is people are starting to go, wait, 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 wait. We're basically prescribing meth to people. And what do you do on meth? You keep doing more and more meth. Yeah. So in order to feel what you felt the first month, you're going to have to up the dose. And that'll yeah. keep happening. And dude, I, my dose was already high to start because I'm like built like a refrigerator. So it's like uh, a very high dose. Interesting. Already. I'm like, I remember I was like, I think you need to up the dose like, like two months later. And he's like, no. Yeah, that's crazy talk. The secret for uh, me to never um, change my tolerance when I was in high school and college, I was prescribed Ritalin. The secret for me was I have such bad executive functioning that I would only take it like once every two forget. months. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like yeah. I would like forget to take it and then be like, "Fuck, I need to read this book." And then I'd like take it and it would be like, like you said, like <laughs> limitless, like just zoned in. Shit. And then the next day it was like I'd have a shit ton of work and I'd be like, "Ah, oh, fuck, this is so hard to do. Just forget about it." Yeah. Like, literally That's, had it in my backpack yeah there's like somebody i've been feeling bad about not texting since like the beginning of april and but i think about them every single day and you still haven't sent the text and i still haven't sent the text and i'm like god yeah that sounds like anxiety yeah well thank you guys for curing me yeah of all this 
Thanks so much for, for coming on, and <laughs> we'll get you that prescription and that Jesus. invoice very soon. Jake was found dead three days before this <laughs> podcast was released. He makes Zoloft. <laughs> <laughs> three days before. He makes the Zoloft with, with Adderall, Adderall and heroin. <laughs> and heroin. <laughs> <laughs> what they're calling an idiot speedball. Um, yeah. Well, and he, he was found had... with his head stuck inside his dryer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, was the, it was the fumes that killed him surprisingly yeah. Jake Montero where can the people find you uh, in a mental institution probably, <laughs> very in the, uh, currently it, in several yeah. locations yeah. on yeah. I-95 yeah um, I don't know I've kind of did, uh, detached from social media I'm about you know? to it's just there's Dude, nothing there it's great there's nothing in there. Yeah, it's great. Um, Tyler has a passcode for me. Yeah. I have like 10 minutes a day and then I can't go on. And in between needing it, I delete it off my phone and I'm I'm on it like 20 minutes a week. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. All I do is uh, you scroll gotta, you gotta get off Marketplace. G- give your wife your passcode to, to <sighs> the to the social Man. media apps. You have yeah. an iPhone, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's so helpful. Yeah, that's what I should do. Yeah. That but, shit is yeah. so bad. Yeah, come, so, bad. so come find me on there and say hello. <laughs> uh, He'll get it in about four months. Yeah. He'll get the message. There's a YouTube, yeah. Come find me on there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But also check out your podcast. Yes, check out Little Stinkers. Thank Little you. Little Stinkers. You're welcome. Uh, it's a great podcast with Mike Rainey, Hilarious. John Apollo, Hilarious. Uh, where we cover serial killers and just all around bad boys and bad bitches. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pretty wild. We've done, we just released an episode on Suge Knight. Shug. We, uh, we did uh, in memoriam for uh, Ted Kaczynski. Oh yeah, recently uh, in the in the news. We've and we did, do these crazy things. We go on these murder field trips. Like we've been to Casey what? Anthony's house. Really? Holy shit. We've went to Charles Manson's uh, cave where the Manson family lives. What? Yeah, we've Spawn Ranch. We've been there. Holy fucking shit. Uh, we went shit. to OJ and uh, OJ's old house and Nicole's house. Oh my god! Stood on the steps. Really just. Trespassed, uh, <laughs> trespassed in various parts of the. And, United and it's all States. thanks to like the people who support the podcast, who like help make it happen. So they would just keep yeah, get on the Patreon sites. Yeah, listen, it's, it's awesome. fucking hilarious. Yeah, Jake Pantera, everybody, thanks Jake so much Pantera, for coming to therapy. The last time, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. the podcast and as a person. <laughs>